Good day, my wonderful students. My name is Austin Divya. Today, I'll be teaching you on the subject Basic Science and Technology, Term 4, as we know, BST4, which is Computer Studies. The class is JS1, and we shall be dealing with topics from your top term scheme. Topic that we shall be dealing with today is application of ICT in everyday life. Our specific objective is that at the end of the lesson, the JS1 student should be able to a mention the ways ICT is used in everyday life, b list areas where ICT can be applied in everyday life, and c give example of how ICT is applied in these areas. I am sure that the student already knows the meaning of ICT. For a refresher, ICT means Information and Communication Technology. Now, the way ICT is used in everyday life. Information and Communication Technology can be used in the following ways in our everyday life. Number one is in communication. ICT provides effective transfer of information from one place to the other through the use of the following. Our radio, our televisions, our emails, mobile phones, computers, and other multimedia devices and applications. Another way that ICT is used in our everyday life is in information gathering, processing, and management. The computer today is the fastest processor of data and also stores information effectively and securely. Examples include a school portal, an FGC or half resort portal, where all your academic achievements are recorded and saved and are stored effectively. You can assess them from anywhere you are at any time you want. Also, another good example is the exam bodies portals, like your joint admission and matriculation board website where every candidate that is registering for JAM goes to, to submit their data and it is securely stored and used. Also, WIEC and NECO and so many other bodies or use ICT to gather their information, process them, and also manage them for future use. These are the ways that ICT can be used in information gathering, processing, and management. Every school in the Federation today has a portal so that their information are properly managed. When admissions are given, information are gathered from the people admitted and stored on these portals. It's ICT that makes this possible, and it is becoming very useful for life. The third way that ICT is used is in timing and control. With ICT, various activities can be controlled and timed effectively. Such activities include things like traffic light. If you come to the, the express, where we have traffic slides, where, where we have traffic slides that are being used to control the traffic. It is timed in such a way that when it asks a particular lane to move, it has to stop the other one. In a situation where it is not properly timed, you will find it asking two opposite lanes to move at the same time, thereby causing conflicts. Another way, another example of timing and control can be seen in the computer-based test where people write tests using the computer-based system. Here, the timing for the exam is perfect in the sense that once the exam is two hours, when you start, your time starts counting down and you can only stop that exam when that time elapses. In case of the invigilator not allowing you to finish your time or giving you excess time, does not apply any longer. It is timed effectively. Also, timing and control can be seen again in our course, core billing and timing. 
when we make use of our phone, you, you can build according to the time you spend making that call. And for every second you spend on a call, there is a particular amount that is deducted. So the time a person that has 100 Naira credit on his phone spends making call or can spend making call is not up to the time that somebody who has 150 Naira will spend. The person that has 150 Naira will definitely spend more because he has more money. And if the timing, the billing is the same, then he will last more making this call. Another example also can be seen in our prepaid meter, in the prepaid power billing system, whereby if you have a prepaid meter in your house and you load your uh, credit onto it, you discover that as you are using the power, depending on the quantity of power you use, that will determine how the amount that you loaded is used. And when it is finished, then it is finished. So prepaid billing system also is another way that ICT can help in timing and control. These are the three ways that we can use ICT in our everyday life. There are so many other ways, but these are the ways we want to look at. We are looking at the communication. We have looked at the information gathering, processing, and management. We have also looked at timing and control. These three ways, with the examples we have given, are the three ways we can use ICT in their life. Some areas where ICT is applied in our everyday life. These are the areas, the broad areas that things we do daily, places we, we, we things we use daily, and how ICT is applied in them. Information and communication technology is applied in the following areas in our everyday life. Number one is banking. ICT is applied in banking. Two is education. ICT is applied in education. Three is government. ICT is applied in government. It is applied in number four, business and commerce. It is applied in healthcare. And it's also applied in our daily communication. Examples of how ICT is applied in all these areas. Number one, banking. ICT is applied in cashless transfers, where you make transfers from one place to another, from one account to another, without touching the money, without touching the cash. B is applied in money transfer across banks and countries. ICT is used to transfer money from one bank. For example, Union Bank. ICT can be used to transfer money from Union Bank to Access Bank. It can also be used to transfer money across countries from one bank in Nigeria to another bank in Ghana, and so on and so forth. We also have ICT is used for payment of salaries and recording and managing the process. Today we have what we call IPPIS. Integrated Payment Personnel Management System, whereby the payment of salary is carried out using that system on the ICT. It is used to pay workers, and as you pay them, it is recorded. It is kept for future purposes. Another way that ICT has been very well applied in banking is in the automated teller machine system we know what we call the automated teller machine that is the atm machine which is displayed here in the picture you see that with your atm card you can go to any bank access any atm machine and be able to withdraw money from your account without actually going into the bank hall to meet anybody or to sign any paper the atm card is a chipped card whereby when you put it in the machine, the machine recognizes it and it is linked to your account. And then there is a key which is called the PIN. When you put in your PIN, it opens up the ATM card and links you to your account for any kind of transaction that you want to do. These are many ways that how ICT is applied in banking. In education, we have heard about online distance learning. It's an application of ICT. Someone can be in Nigeria and through the internet, it can be educated in a university or in a school in London or in the United Kingdom. Also, in research work, 
we can use ICT to carry out serious research works. If you have things to ask, questions to ask, you can go to Google and make your research from there, asking, searching for information, and it will be delivered to be delivered to you. Another example of how ICT is applied in education is in education management and record keeping. We talked about the portals, the examination bodies, and so on and so forth. They are all ICT-based systems used in managing and record keeping. Also, in examination, administration, and timing and control, ICT is used in education. JAM these days is no longer written on paper. JAM is an exam you take over the computer system in a system called the computer-based test where it is controlled and timed. If you are not the one that is meant to take that paper, the computer will not allow you to take that paper. So, and then also it is timed to the last second and it is being used in education. That is the ways ICT, the few ways that ICT can be applied in education. In government, number three, ICT is used for transmission of information across all levels of government. It only takes an instant for information to go around everywhere in government. Any policy that is to be implemented is sent by email, sent by other ICT applications so that the people involved and who, who are to implement will be able to implement instantly. Transmission of information in governance is no longer a problem since the e-government started. Application of ICT in business and commerce. Today we have online procurement of goods and services like in online shops or malls like Jumia. You go there, you buy what you want to buy, you will see it on the screen. When you buy them, they are sent to your home by the company. You don't have to move anywhere. You make payment over the internet and whatsoever service or goods that you have requested for is supplied to you at home. Also, payment for goods and services using ATM cards and mobile applications is now what is involved. People go to the market, they don't have any money with them. And when they get there, simply because they have their phone, they buy the goods and they make transfer into the account of the person that is selling. And the person receives an instant SMS to show him that so so and so amount of money has been paid into your account. And then he releases his goods. So we have such as an application of ICT in business and commerce and so many other ways that we can apply them. Number five in healthcare. ICT is now used for diagnosis of ailments. If you see in the picture that is showing here, you find a lab with computers. Here, ailments can be diagnosed with the assistance of computers. That is ICT in application. Then also, ICT is used in medical research and idea sharing. Uh, doctors, medical personnel all across the world share information among themselves with ICT instantly. And that is how ICT is applied in healthcare. In communication, we have with ICT quick access to information from any part of the world using ICT gadgets like your telephone, your fax machine, your satellite TV, your internet, and so on and so forth. Also, use of social media, you know, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, and so on and so forth, used to circulate information from any in any form, like video, pictures, and sound in an instant. You don't waste time. The moment that video is up in the internet, people begin to send it everywhere. In an instant, it goes and is circulated. So with ICT, it is easy for information to go around. So that is how ICT is applied in communication. It has made communication very easy. Formally, when you write a letter, you want to write a letter to your father to send provision to you in school. You find out that you write the letter, it takes days for the letter to get to your father and it takes days for your father to respond. But these days with a simple telephone call, Daddy, I need sugar. You just tell him. The next minute he has already done something, either he sends money through the electronic means or he does something that will make that thing get to you that same day. ICT is applied in our everyday life. In communication, it has made it faster and easier. 
So these are the ways that ICT is being applied in our everyday life. I'd like you to look at yourself and see how much you have achieved by this lesson. You have answered the following questions. Mention any three ways ICT can be used in our everyday life. List six areas where ICT can be applied in everyday life. And six, this number is more like an assignment. I want you to give other examples of ICT, of how ICT is applied in the areas listed in B above, as listed in this lesson. And they must be different from the ones we have mentioned. They must be different from the ones we have mentioned. It will help you understand more what we have talked about. Sorry. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technology. Information and Communication Technology has affected and improved our everyday life through faster and better ways of communication, information management, and control. Its application in almost every area of our societal life, like banking, healthcare, business, and commerce, government, education, communication, has made it easier and faster. Everyone. I hope you enjoy the lesson. Achieved a lot from this lesson. I want you to evaluate yourself, and if you need any, have any questions, you can go through the video once again. Thank you very much.